Don't you wish you could look into the future and see what it would look like maybe a few years from now so that you can make a better decision now. So today I want to share other people's opinions about what it's like to live here and was it a good idea for them to move to Hendersonville, North Carolina. We're going to talk to people who do not know me, who I do not know them, so hopefully they will be as frank and open as they can be. And we're also going to talk to a few of our clients who moved here in the recent years and they will share their perspective. So stay tuned. I loved living in this area. I had to move away when my husband passed, but I still come back uh, at least twice a year. And the reason we moved here to begin with is there's so much to do in this area. There's whitewater rafting, there's zip lining, everybody in town is friendly. Um, uh, it's just, it's, it was just a wonderful place to live. We lived in a neighborhood called Kimmure. Uh There's over 900 houses up in there. Mm -hmm. Great, uh, you know. It's a well, well established neighborhood, yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful. Great, great club there. Great golf. Uh, so, no negatives? I don't have any negative things. Nothing against Henderson, no, okay. Nothing. So, you would move here again? I would love to move here again. Okay, all right. <laughs> so, when did you move here? Uh, four years ago. Oh, okay. So welcome. Thank you. So, well, do you like it? Yes, we do. So looking back, did, do you think it was a good idea to move here? Yes. Um, we moved here and with the intention, I was still working at the time, but of retiring here. Um, and so we had lived up in Washington, D.C. area. Oh, okay. Um, so that's a big change. Exactly. Big, big city and to And we knew we didn't town. want to retire in a big city. So that was why we came here, and it is a small town with a lovely main street. So are you liking it? Yes, oh, very much. Any cons? Um, it's busy there, are the, and with most uh, small towns, people who've been there all along tend to have a little tension with the people moving in. Mm. This is like any other small town, mm -hmm. um, but it's not terrible. Um, uh, people are very welcoming, and there's a lot of people moving in here yeah. in this area. So it takes so. time to kind of get acclimated and get get to know neighbors and people who've been here. Yeah, my uh, in my neighborhood, I I live in a fairly I know all my neighbors. Um, uh, we we talk a lot, so it's it's a friendly town. Uh, once you move in, it takes mm -hmm. a little time, but there are also usually people just like us who just moved here right. in the neighborhood as well. So you can yeah. mix. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. You're that welcome. was awesome. All right. That's like a little okay. um, Where are microphone. You from? Russia. Russia, really? Yeah. Okay. He's from Ukraine. I'm from Russia. Okay. <laughs> just hold it up kind of to your mouth. I was just watching the Ukraine Olympian. Oh, yeah? And he did. Did they kill did, it? Yeah, he did Good. really well. Good for them. You moved to Hendersonville from? Brevard. Brevard. That's like right is, next door. It's about 25 miles. So, yes, yeah. not too far. So was it a good idea to move here? Uh, yes, we we're moved into a senior community. Okay, so and that that is why? Yeah, Okay. that's why we came here. You wanted to be in senior it community? A great senior community here. And uh, we, uh, we've owned homes since we, we've been here in 17 years. Okay. And we've owned a home. And we just, just given our age, we decided we're going to move to a senior community. Kind of maintenance free living? Yep. Do you like it here? Yes, love it. So, any cons? Any what? Cons? None, none. The people are really nice, lots of smiles. Yeah. Um, so, and uh, they take care of us really well at our senior community. Awesome. So. Well, good. I'm glad. Okay. Thank you so much. All right, thanks. Have thanks. a good day. You too. You moved here when? Back in 1994. So you've been here for a while. Yes, I have. How far did you move from? 750 miles ago <laughs> from on the west coast of Florida. <laughs> Florida, all right. What do you think so far? I wouldn't move anywhere else. Really? So you think it was a good decision to move here? Oh, very much so. Very much so. This I've lived in five different places before I moved here, and this is a fantastic area. Any cons? Yes, it's expensive. Housing is expensive. Mm. But um, aside from that, the people are friendly. The government seems to be working properly to a degree. And I couldn't think of living in a place else and be any happier. All right. 
great. Well, thank you so much. You're Appreciate very it. You're welcome. Good luck with your project. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> All right. This is the microphone. <laughs> All right. Um, Am I supposed to hold it? Like yeah, this? you can just hold it too. Okay. Yeah. And who are you collecting this for? Can I ask? For my YouTube channel. Okay. Yeah, about living in Asheville or, you know, it's about all living in Asheville, surrounding areas. You don't want me to say anything about Asheville. I don't live in Asheville. So. No, it's, this video specifically is about Hendersonville. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you live in Hendersonville? I live near Hendersonville, two miles down the road in Flat Rock. Pretty much. Yes. When did you move? Uh, we moved here permanently two and a half years ago. Oh, nice. Um, and where did you move from? State? Moved from Charlotte. Oh, so not too so far. in the same state. So Looking back, do you think it was a good decision? Absolutely. Yes? But God's in charge of my decisions. And so <laughs> when we sold our house, everything it appreciated in Charlotte, and then when we cut the trees on our property here, you know, North Carolina has a law that if you build with the wood on your property, you can build your own house with that wood mm -hmm. without it being inspected. Mm -hmm. Well, the inspectors do it, but not right. the wood inspectors typically. So we built a house here with the wood that was on our lot. Good for you. And it was right when all the wood prices spiked. So mm. the housing prices spiked in Charlotte, the wood prices spiked everywhere. It was a good You move. had a good deal. Any cons about living here in Hendersonville? Um, my wife does not like it when it gets below 50 degrees. In winter? And so <laughs> she stays indoors in the winter. Yeah. She will not go to Florida, <laughs> so we stay here, and it's lovely. So you love it here? Yes. So you cannot say anything, any other negative things about it? Nothing comes to mind. Okay. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. Yes, you're welcome. So we talked to people on the streets of Hendersonville, and as you could tell, they do not know me, I do not know them, and they gave their own honest opinion. I'm sure there are some other people who we did not catch who have different opinion, but this is the majority of what people told us. Now, let's listen to what some of our clients said about moving, making a decision to move to Hendersonville instead of Asheville, and how they like it here. First one is Beth. Her and her husband moved here just a few years ago. Elizabeth and uh, Jim moved to Asheville, to the Asheville area, but not quite to Asheville. When was it, two, two three years ago? Yep, in January of 2022. From? from Seattle. Seattle, all, like all the way, the opposite direction, all the way from West Coast, all the way to East Coast. But I said almost Asheville area because they don't actually live in Asheville. You live in? Uh, we live in Hendersonville. And why is that? Well, we looked at Asheville and we looked at Hendersonville and a couple of the other towns in the area. Um, initially, we thought Asheville would be the place for us, but uh, we were actually looking for something smaller, a little quieter. Um, on the other hand, I work in Asheville, so I feel like I get the best of both worlds. Um, mm -hmm. I get to live in Hendersonville, which is definitely um, quieter, maybe less quirky. And I get to work in Asheville, which actually reminds me a little bit of Seattle maybe 15, 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. So, which is why we're meeting today right here in Asheville in one of the best, you can see it from here, but one of the best coffee shops, High Five Coffee. Stop by if you are around, but beside the point. Elizabeth commutes every day from Hendersonville to Asheville. What is that like? Well, c having come from the Seattle area where the commutes were really bad, uh, it was not unusual to spend an hour um, commuting into the city, even though I was really only 15 minutes away. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm talking about commuting at like 6.30 in the morning. It's okay. still taking me an hour. Here, the commute is can be 30 to 40 minutes. It's not unusual on um, I-26. So it's a bit of a commute, but it's not uh, problematic. It's quite beautiful. Um, they are expanding the highway, so I expect the commute's going to get a little bit better. And it's really nothing like commuting from a major metropolitan area. It's very uh, much less of a difficult commute, mm -hmm, I would say. Mm -hmm. So everyone who's complaining about traffic and just roads in Asheville, I've been saying this for years on this channel that people who come from real cities, for them, this is not traffic for them, this is not. So it's all about perspective. Not to say that if you come in from another small town or similar sized town as Asheville, you know, you, you'll be like, oh yeah. Mm. But if you come in from a big city, it might not be that big of a deal. So what, what, what do you like about Hendersonville? What I like about Hendersonville is it very much captures the spirit of North Carolina, the mountains that we were looking for. It's breathtakingly beautiful. 
every season. In the spring, the flowers are everywhere. Uh, when you drive over these sort of rolling hills, there's not a lot of traffic. You're often the only person on the road. Um, there's a lot of cute little towns, cute little restaurants. It's very low key. And so when you're going home from work, it's just a really nice way to wind down your day. Sunsets are incredible. The early morning's incredible. Um, so that's what I like about Hendersonville. The downtown area is just priceless. Um, we go down there just to hang out. It's so special and vibrant and authentic. Mm -hmm. So that's the, those are the main things we love about Hendersonville. Do you dislike anything about Hendersonville? <sighs> Let me think. I honestly don't think I do. Um, I'm proud to live there now. I take advantage of as many of the local activities as I can. We have a wonderful Christmas time there with outdoor things going on mm -hmm. in the Main Street area all that whole season. Um, spring is spectacular there. The fall, of course, is incredible. So, I mean, some people may find Hendersonville a little conservative. Um, people are maybe a little more reserved, mm -hmm. a little harder to get to know. But once you break through that, they're super friendly. There's a strong community feeling, so people will have your back. I feel that with our neighbors. For the first time in a long time, we have excellent friendships with our neighbors. That's that, awesome. Um, we did not have that in Seattle, hmm. so that's been awesome about Hendersonville. Awesome. Thank you so much. Any anything you want to, I don't know, give piece of advice to anybody who's thinking about, you know, picking between Asheville and Hendersonville or. I think you need, to, you need to go and visit both places and get a feel for them. Um, may, sort of have a, a sense of what you're looking for. If you're really looking for kind of that young, quirky vibe, uh, artistic, I think Asheville might be a better fit. Mm -hmm. um, but if you're, particularly if you're my age, you're looking to retire, I think Hendersonville is a great option. It's not quite as small as some of the other towns, so right. I think it's a little, it gives you a little bit of the activity that you might want, um, but it's got that, that just a little bit more toned down uh, feel to it. So awesome. I would check out both and um, see what you think. Thank you. And last but not least is Jim. Jim actually moved not exactly to Hendersonville. He's right outside of Hendersonville, but it's such a small area that might as well be Hendersonville. And he has slightly different opinions. So let's take a listen. You moved to the Hendersonville area, not exactly Hendersonville. Right, I'm actually seven miles outside of Hendersonville, near a small village known in the area as Horseshoe. Um, that was just, that was the spot where you found me a wonderful house when we were shopping for houses in the general Asheville area. Mm -hmm. So as you told me in our email when we kind of discussed this little interview, you said it wasn't that you found the house, the house found you. Oh, most definitely about that. Um, <laughs> you and I had been looking for houses for quite a while, and before I even arrived in this area, I had been looking for houses up and down the Blue Ridge Parkway, starting in Virginia, and just when that was when the market was just so crazy, as I'm sure you remember. Oh, yes. And when you found a house that you liked, you had to put in offers with a dozen other people, and if you didn't go way over asking, mm -hmm. you had no chance. So you and I looked at a couple, they didn't quite work for me, and then uh, you found this one, which I wasn't thinking of moving quite that far out into the country, but when I toured it for the first time with your husband, it was like, wow, this is perfect. Can I believe this? I found a house in this very popular area where I can sit on my front porch and not see another house anywhere. All I see are the Blue Ridge Mountains and beautiful trees and forest and the French Broads River goes by my property. So yeah, the, the house found me, you helped me find it, you and your husband. It looks pretty idyllic there from your, from your, from your front porch. Just, it's just beautiful. It is and has been so far, yeah, a so, great choice. So, any regrets moving to the area, the Henderson regrets. County? Regrets? No, I can't say any regrets whatsoever at all. In fact, just the opposite, um, I'm just, thrilled to discover that so much of the things that I enjoy doing are literally at my fingertips. Uh, from the Hendersonville Horseshoe area, um, a 15-20 minute drive over to the Pisgah National Forest, which has just an amazing campground, 
uh, Davidson River fishing, all kinds of hiking. Uh, even closer for me from a short drive going west is the DuPont State Forest Recreational Area, which is another immensely popular mm -hmm. area. Uh, all kinds of waterfalls and hiking and equestrian trails. Um, it just has been, for someone who loves the outdoors, uh, we couldn't have picked a better spot for me, uh, especially being west of Hendersonville. Uh, it just makes it so much closer for me to get to those areas mm -hmm. farther west in the county. Well, and that's great to get your perspective because you are such a great example for outdoor lover, outdoor person. Absolutely. Not everyone is, but somebody like you who does love outdoors. You are right, you know, in the middle of, in the thick of it. I mean, didn't, didn't you say that it would be even better if you were a little more um, southwest, closer to Brevard? <laughs> well, uh, yeah, in terms of, you know, I spend probably three days a week, I drive over towards the Pisgah National Forest mm -hmm. area, which is just outside of Brevard. It might have you know, saved me some driving if we had picked yeah. a house for me in Brevard. But the trade-off there is uh, access to the um, Asheville Airport. Mm -hmm. um, I travel a lot to visit family, and I'm, so I'm an easy 20-minute drive to the Asheville Airport. I would add another half hour to that drive if I was in the Brevard area. Mm -hmm. So no, I'm still happy with the compromise. Uh, that we made. So if you were to, if you had a chance to go back a few years back and you didn't have to fight for the house, <laughs> you know, <laughs> the inventory was plenty, not that we have it right now, but would you still pick that area? Be honest. You, you, you're not going to offend anybody. Sure, understood. Um, the, I haven't found any downside that would tell me I, I, not to pick the area except I love the road bike, or used to love the road bike, mm -hmm. and wow, there's an extraordinarily popular Blue Ridge Cycling Club with 800 members. The Where? Out of Asheville is the Blue okay. Ridge Cycling Club. Okay. Um, and they, they organize group rides all over the Asheville area and all the surrounding counties. Hmm. Extremely popular, but they're just so much braver than I am. The, the two-lane <laughs> country roads um, in this part of yes. Western North Carolina have no berm whatsoever at all, much less bike lanes. And I find it extraordinarily scary to be out riding a road bike. So Me too. And it's uh, scary to drive your car and see a bunch of people all of a sudden because it's so windy. Because it's so windy and, and you, you come around you don't a corner even see and you're as speeding you drive. along at even at 35 right. miles an hour and they're creeping up the hill at 15. I know. It's, it is very scary. But so I would have maybe considered um, staying closer to Asheville where there are some bike lanes and mm -hmm. bike trails. Mm -hmm. so that would be the only downside I would see. If I was going to pick again, I might look a little closer at Asheville. Okay, again. but not Brevard? But the, the airport thing. Is the still, airport? Yeah, well, when you've been away for a week visiting family and you fly into the airport and then think that you've got maybe a 45 minute or an hour drive to get mm -hmm. home yet and it's mm -hmm. usually late at night, I just like the convenience of being real close to the mm -hmm. Asheville airport. And so, as you can see, for Jim, and for, just like for many other people, it's not just a house or what's inside the house. It's about the whole package, right? It's about Most location definitely. and proximity to different things that are important to you. They might not be important to you, but they are important. Ooh, there's a cyber truck. Look. Hey, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> this is something new, okay, here in the mountains. <laughs> I'm going to take pictures with it later. Just kidding. Sure. <laughs> any cons other than, you know, the fact that for your needs, any cons that you see about yes. living in Henderson County, Hendersonville, that Well, area? living on the western edge of Henderson County, which is where I am, mm -hmm. which has you know, the easy access to all the, the parks and state forests mm -hmm. that I mentioned, but there's no good pizza anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, the, the small village of Etowah that I'm close to, where I do my grocery shopping and where I, I have access to my uh, family practitioner for medical needs, there's just no good pizza shops anywhere in that area. So yeah. I do have to get in my car and drive into Hendersonville to get access to. There are what, several wonderful pizza places. What's your in favorite? Hendersonville. Um, I think it's called First on. Fifth is the Italian restaurant okay. or something, look that up, close, something close to that. Okay. They make the absolute best pizza. Chain one, but it, 
it doesn't yeah. qualify as we, good pizza. We no. don't do it. We don't. <laughs> we don't do chains. What do you think about downtown Hendersonville? You know, um, I was still a little questionable about the house that we found because um, I was had been looking at Asheville mostly, and I'd been to Asheville couple times during my working career mm -hmm. and I thought that was where I wanted to live with the great vibe that it, downtown Asheville has with music and art and breweries uh, and the first time I walked through Hendersonville I was like wow this is phenomenal this is like a miniature version of Asheville it's a whole lot less busy it's uh, much friendlier in terms of walking around downtown uh -huh. it's got everything you could ask for in terms of a dynamic downtown there's, all, there's always lots of tourists around it's, there's an excitement in there that you get when other people are out wandering around and mm -hmm. visiting the restaurants and the other great shops that are down there so I was very impressed with Hendersonville so that kind of put the icing on the cake and said let's put an offer in on this house mm -hmm. do you do you think that tourists and just in general, public in um, downtown Hendersonville, is it a little different than what you see in downtown Asheville? Yes, I definitely get kind of a, a different vibe. I'm not sure, you know, how to describe it. Maybe the, the Hendersonville tourist crowd is a little more relaxed, a little more easygoing, not quite in a rush to get everywhere. Mm -hmm. Whereas you move into Asheville, you kind of get more of that larger city right. sense, almost like the New York City sense where everyone's in a rush, everyone's in a hurry to try and get to whatever they're going to do next. So right. well, that was the, kind of my notice of Hendersonville. Yeah. There's a lot of people, I mean, in Asheville, downtown Asheville, I feel like tourists, you know, they are brewery hopping and just hopping from one spot to drink beer to another or to next spot to eat or see. Is as you're driving around in your vehicle, people let you in when you need to come out <laughs> at a turn. When someone has, it gets a little late getting out of the green light, no one beeps at them. Mm -hmm. It's an amazing, no one tailgates you driving around the city or even out on Highway 64, which is the main road back and forth. Just a much more relaxed atmosphere from a driving perspective. But the minute I get close to Asheville, boom, I start hearing a beep, 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 you know, all day long <laughs> is because drivers in the Asheville, larger city kind of area, just are a little more aggressive about moving on. You know what locals and natives would, will say to that? They will say that it's all tourists and it's, it's all the transplants, like him and I. <laughs> well, I guess that's possible. I don't know. I mean, it is true. I, I noticed some, you know, plate, license plates from other states. They are the ones who tend to beep more. And I think it takes time to, for people to kind of simmer down and just chill out and assimilate and, okay, there's no need to be aggressive on the road. Just right. chill out. People are just, you know, doing their thing. <laughs> well, thank you, Jim. I appreciate your time. You're welcome. Very happy to contribute to your project. Yes, and I hope it was very helpful to everyone to hear other people's perspectives. So you heard all the different opinions about what it's like not only live here, but if, whether or not it was a good decision to move to Hendersonville. And you see the importance of doing your own research, not just listen to me or somebody else on the internet or read articles. You've got to get out and talk to people, talk to other people. So you, next time you're visiting, maybe as a tourist, don't hesitate and just stop people on the street or start talking to somebody in a restaurant next to you in a coffee shop and pick their brain about what it's like to live here, whether or not they think it was a good decision, pros and cons, anything goes. Connect with people, connect with communities. I think that is the best source of information. And if you need further help, my team and I are helping dozens of people relocate to the area. Our contact information is down in the description. Reach out to us and we'll be happy to help. Until next time.